Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Uh, my name is Casey Kepley. I'm with HowToPlayStock.com. Uh, today is July 27th, 2016. And uh, I don't know if you know what today is, but today is the uh, uh, speech that Janet Yellen gave on uh, monetary policy changes. Okay, and the reason why I'm talking about this real quick is because uh, it, it really raises an eyebrow, uh, for me anyways, when it comes to uh, the media bias, all right. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, let me just let me just briefly touch on Janet Yellen, all right, and the Federal Reserve Bank. Today, uh, in all Janet Yellen's wisdom, she decided to come out and state that risks have diminished, and therefore uh, they're going to leave interest rates unchanged. Now think about that for a minute. Does that make any any sense whatsoever? Risks have diminished, okay, to the markets, but we're going to leave interest rates unchanged. What I I mean, talk about a disconnect. Okay, that makes absolutely no sense. If if risks have diminished, then you should be able to raise interest rates, right? You would think, but no, 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 you can't do that because if we raise interest rates right now, all right, and uh, if we were to do that, um, what would happen basically is, is the bubble would pop and you would get either a major correction in the markets, say like a, a 10, 15%, maybe a 20% um, downfall in the markets in asset values, uh, bringing them closer to, to a fair value where they really should be, um, or you may get a, uh, you know, inflation, of, you know, a spike in inflation uh, when it comes to consumer goods, all right? There's there's a several different uh, scenarios that could play out if they did raise interest rates, but I can tell you right now, uh, don't listen to any of, the, any of the bullshit that you're being fed by the media, okay? And it really pisses me off because so many people are hard-working Americans out there, all right, saving for retirement, uh, going to school, you know, and, and trying to do the right thing to get ahead in life. And little do they realize, and, and part, part of this is because people just uh, don't have the time, really, in their, their own personal lives to do the research uh, and, and educate themselves financially to, to a point where they understand the game that's being played against them when it comes to money, all right? And I'm going to go back to the media bias here uh, because, again, they're lying to you, all right? They're, they're saying everything is, is hunky-dory. Oh, really? If that's so, then why is it, if you take a look at the 30-year Treasury note, uh, the, the, the yield curve on the 30-year Treasury note, why is it then that that yield curve, okay, is being pinned down? So if you look at it right now, and Gregor, Gregory uh, Manorino uh, talks about this. He's a, uh, a day trader. He knows a hell of a lot more about it than I do. But I've watched some of his videos, and he goes in and talks about this in uh, uh, great detail. Basically what he said uh, is it's being pinned down, okay? The Federal Reserve is printing so much freaking money uh, that the short, the short end of the, uh, the yield curve, is being pinned down because uh, federal interest rates are at damn near zero. Okay, so they keep printing money to keep it pinned down so that the yield curve stays up. Well, guess what's happening? That yield curve on the 30-year Treasury note is starting to go flat. All right? Now, that's a problem because interest rates are already, already at zero. So the only choice they have right now is to either raise interest rates, which if they do... You know, and it's being pinned down like this, and it's going flat. If they raise it, it's going to get the yield curve is going to go inverted, which means that you're looking at uh, a loss on your money when it comes to holding bonds, which are supposed to be one of the safest investments out there when it comes to fixed income. Okay, now uh, they're not going to tell you this. You have to actually go out and, and do your research on this. Uh, Gregory Manorino does a, a great job. Of explaining this 
And so I'm just kind of passing the message along to uh, my viewers um, in regards to what you know he's talking about here. But again, the media bias, guys, uh, the reason why I want to touch on it and why it's so important is because the media bias, you'll see this in uh, the entertainment industry uh, when it comes to like music and movie actors, uh, especially in the magazines and on television and TV. Uh, there's so much garbage that we're being fed through a television, all right, that it's, it's overwhelming. And if you don't know, if you're not paying attention and you don't know what's going on, the media bias can really get a hold of you. And, and let me explain that real quick because when I was younger, all right, I, I fed into the bullshit. I bought it, okay? And it, it basically took me down uh, a path that uh, I don't regret because I, I did get smarter and learn from my mistakes. But the media bias basically painted this pretty picture for me that I could do anything I wanted to do. You know, I could be famous. Um, you know, make millions and millions of dollars and uh, live this lavish lifestyle that they show you that you can live like Jay-Z, Beyonce, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, all these, all these fucking rich, wealthy people, okay? And I'm not saying that you can't live that kind of lifestyle. You most certainly can if you know what the hell you're doing and uh, you got a lot of drive and ambition and you have a little bit of luck, okay? Because you have to know the right people uh, to get into certain positions in life. I've, I've learned that over the years. Okay, so you got to be a really good networker. But that's besides the point. What I'm trying to say here is that the media bias is going to paint a pretty picture for you of a bunch of bullshit. Okay, and they're going to make you think that all these people just got rich overnight. Okay, they never show you the uh, what they call the dark years. They never show you the ten dark years that Bill Gates spent uh, on a college campus uh, trying to build Microsoft. They don't, they don't show you the times where he was broke, you know, and, and fucking looking for his next meal. They didn't show you, uh, you know, what it took for Jay-Z to get into the position that he's in. They didn't show you the poverty that he had to endure over numerous years to, to even get noticed as a rapper. They don't show you that. The only thing that they'll show you, uh, is their, you know, the big fancy house, the nice car, you know, the women, the sex, the drugs, all that bullshit. And I'm telling you, that is not real life. That is not reality. Okay, the MTV videos that you see out there, that's not reality, guys. And I know this because, guess what, when I was 21, I tried to do the whole Slim, you know, Slim Shady Eminem rapping thing, okay. You had a bunch of friends who were in music. I learned how to produce music. I learned how to book gigs at nightclubs. I actually did a lot of that stuff and, and tried to live that lifestyle and, and do something that uh, is next to impossible, you know. And Marshall Mathers, uh, Eminem, was able to, to go ahead and, you know, overcome all those obstacles because he, he didn't give up, all right. Unfortunately, <laughs> well, fortunately for me, I wasn't unfortunate. Fortunately for me, I woke up. Okay, and all it took was me getting involved in drugs and living in the backseat of my car for about six months to, to understand that, okay, this is not what I want, all right, and I don't want to sell myself out uh, to be famous, you know, that's, uh, it's stupid, you know, and there's, and again, it's the media bias that people have, they have this perception that, uh, you know, that's basically all this shit happens overnight for people. And then they, they're, you know, super wealthy. No. It doesn't happen that way. Okay? And, you know, I, it's kind of a funny transition that I'm using here to go from talking about, you know, the interest rates with the Federal Reserve and Janet Yellen talking about what she's talking about on raising interest rates and, and transitioning over into this media bias. But, uh, you know, I, th I thought it was appropriate because, again, you know, the, the shit that they're feeding you through the television is, is just absolute garbage right now. Okay, we're not in a recovery with the economy like they're telling you. And you may be, you know, if you're watching this right now, you may be asking, well, what the hell do I do? What do I invest in? And that brings me to the next part of this video.
with the, the media bias and the, the misperception that people have, all right, what are you investing? Invest in yourself. Invest in this. Okay? Start doing your research. Start reading books. Uh, get a mentor. You know? A lot of people are like, well, I don't have a mentor. I don't have anybody I can go, you know, reach out to. Yeah, you do. It's called a book. Pick up books. Take somebody that you that you would like to, uh, you know, sit in a, in a room with and, and talk to them. Pick their brain. You can do it through a book. That's why they wrote the book a lot of times. Well, autobiographies. That's why they do it. It's so that they can explain their story to you and tell you exactly what it is they did, what they went through, what they endured. Um, that way you don't have to, to be fed these lies through the media bias. Okay, so pick up a book. Start reading. You know, I read probably at least one or two books a month. All right? And it may be something of my choice or it may be something that uh, is, you know, required of me to read for uh, the degree program I'm, I'm going through right now for school. And that, that's another thing I want to touch on is the education system. Okay, our education system, guys, <laughs> for all you guys listening right now who might be going to school or have had an education and have a degree, uh, man, hats off to you. That takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of focus. And you have to have an uh, extreme amount of drive in order to accomplish that. Okay? Now, my problem with the education system, though, uh, and this is just through my own observation, uh, especially, you know, going to school back in my 20s, like in my early 20s, and now going back to school again uh, for a second uh, education in a different field. Um, the one thing that I've observed is that the education systems will not teach you about financial education. They will not teach you about financial statements cash flow patterns of poor, middle class, and wealthy people. They don't teach you about how to create passive income. They don't teach you about this debt model system that we live in. And it pisses me off. It really does. Because if we don't, if we don't start getting smarter, guys, okay, it, you might as well forget about the lifestyle that we've been uh, handed down to us over generation upon generation. We might as well forget about this you know, the privileges that we have because they'll be gone. And if, you, if you're not awake right now, you better wake up because right now, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in the uh, political arena with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, okay? We're, in, we're living in some crazy times right now, guys. Some crazy flipping times. And you, you better wake up because your only other choice is these central bankers like Janet Yellen Okay, and the IMF and the World Bank, Christine Lagarde, um, you know, I could go down the list with all these central bankers. They are robbing you blind. They are taking money out of your back pocket without you even knowing. And the whole time you're taught, as an American, to save money, put it in a 401k, and uh, you're going to be able to live the good life here in about 34 years. Well, guess what? If you haven't lived through 2008, you, you might... <laughs> Go back and do a little bit of research on it because the 401k is now considered a 201k. All right? I explain this in detail in some of my videos, guys. If you want to know what I'm talking about, subscribe to my channel and watch some of the videos that I have because I go into great detail and talk about uh, being on a different playing field. All right? And, and, you know, I don't go into talking about the media bias. This is my first video I've shot on that kind of stuff. But I go into... To great detail and talk to you about how the system is set up, okay, especially when it comes to the stock market and investing in stocks. And it's, we're all set up for failure. That's what I'm trying to say. The system is rigged. It's set up so that we all fail. And I explain it in a lot of my videos. And I show you how, uh, how you can set yourself up to reduce the risk so that you don't lose so much money. Okay, in the process. <coughs> Excuse me. It's very important that you start getting some financial education because the, the schools and the colleges aren't going to give it to you. They're just not. All right? And it's becoming a serious, serious problem because I've been doing a little studying on demographics as well. And I can tell you right now, 
the first wave of baby boomers is getting ready to retire and they're going to be forced to withdraw on their 401ks but I can tell you right now it's going to have a significant impact on the markets and the reason why is because that's money that's leaving the markets Robert Kiyosaki talks about this okay you can go out and research him he, he mentions this in a couple of his interviews where he talks about you know the, the fact that baby boomers are being forced out of the market now by withdrawing on their 401ks and without all that money leaving there has to be money coming into the markets if there's not money coming into the markets well then you're you're looking at a uh, a financial economic collapse you know prices have to drop okay now it's not all that bad because again it presents some great opportunities if you're an investor and those opportunities um, they'll come if you know what to look for now part of that requires being patient and I talk about this all the time in my videos you gotta be patient you gotta be patient hold on to cash we live in this debt model system guess what guys money is debt without it you have no debt if you don't have any debt then the Ponzi scheme and the system no longer functions why do you think the rich get richer? It's because they have tax advantages for taking on debt. Okay? Especially with like real estate. You know, you can go to a bank and get a loan for a, a piece of dirt and a house um, pretty much with no problem. Okay? It's not that hard. You just have to be willing to take on the debt. Now, if you went to a bank though and you said, hey, I want to take out a loan so that I can invest in the stock market they're gonna laugh you right out of the bank and the reason why is because they know it's risky and they know that there's <laughs> a lot of people don't know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to investing in stocks now I don't know everything okay I'm continuously learning about uh, new ways to invest or new strategies that I can take with my asset allocation and my portfolio okay and I, that's part of what my YouTube video is about every time I learn something new guess what I'm shooting a video about it all right, so if you're not, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, please do so. Okay, like and share this video. Get it out to everyone. And uh, again, guys, remember, income is the outcome. If without income, you might as well forget it. You might as well live in poverty because that's that's your only choice, really. And I know that I don't. I I'm almost, I most certainly don't want to live in poverty, and I know you don't either. Okay, so wake up. Wake up and start doing some research and learn about this system this game of money is being played against you because if you don't it's gonna take every single freaking dollar bill out of your back pocket that you have and it'll do it in the form of inflation stagflation okay and and uh, money printing if you think you're gonna be wealthy by saving money get the hell out of here man you are you're freaking crazy if you think that and here's why because you can't save enough money to keep up with the money printing that the Fed does. Again, read some books, do some research on it. You know, it's pretty simple what they're doing. And if you learn how to play the game of money that's being played against you, and you learn how to play that game, uh, you can take advantage of it. Okay? Now, holding on to cash, like I said earlier, if, you're, if you want to know what to invest in and you're looking for good... Uh, opportunities you know right now if you're looking at playing stocks hold on to cash because I can tell you these markets are gonna drop mark my words they are going to drop they have no choice I don't know when it's gonna happen but I can tell you uh, you know if I were to take a wild guess I would say it's gonna be here in the next few months or maybe uh, you know into the beginning of uh, 2017 but when those prices drop, and I don't know by how much they're going to drop, just wait. Be patient. Take your money. Pick a few things out that you want to get into, that, that you know, diversify you across multiple asset classes in, in paper assets. And then lay your money on the table and invest. That's all I have for today, guys. Um, I hope you found this information uh, beneficial. Uh, you know, if you have any questions or concerns, you can leave comments in the video below. Again, like and share this video, um, and you can check out my websites too. I've got links in the in the description for those as well. 
Um, but that's all I have for today. You guys uh, take care, and remember, in comes the outcome.